Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Yakman. I wanted to quickly go over how to have combined chats through Restream on your stream so that you don't feel like you're separating your communities, but instead keeping everyone together, regardless of what platforms you are using. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to go Google Restream right here. This guy. See that? Restream.io. That's where you want to go. This is the site I'm using to not only stream to multiple platforms, but to combine the chats so that people on Kick can talk to people on Twitch, vice versa. This applies to um, a lot, not all, but it applies to a good amount of uh, the different platforms you can stream on through Restream. Um, if you're using Restream for free, you have up to two different platforms you can stream at at the same time. If you choose one of their, they have, I think, three different tiers of a monthly fee, you then get, obviously, with each package, more things that you can restream to and more little bells and whistles. After you get things set up with your, your um, RT MP URL to restream, and you've gotten your stream key, then you are going to want to uh, set up what platforms you want. So um, you can add your channels with this button. And I've added um, Kick, Twitch, and YouTube. For now, these two are the main ones I'm after, Kick and Twitch. A lot of people are worried about separating their communities um, and dividing people. What I've got going here, I'm, I'm trying to bring everyone together. So once you enter in the channel information, you get it set up to which channels you're going to restream to. You're going to click right here on chat. This is the chat tab. And then you will go to, uh, so there's the chat overlay. Um, and this, this is what you're going to want to add to your Streamlabs or your OBS. I prefer OBS. That's a whole nother video topic. The main thing is you're going to want to, uh, go into, uh, your broadcasting software, choose your main scene to start your setup and get it set up how you want it to be. You're gonna add a browser source. So you, you'd come here and um, I added a browser source earlier. Obviously, I've already got it set up. I named it Chat Restream. Um, and then uh, you enter the URL that you should have right here. So you're gonna copy and paste this embed chat right here into your OBS web browser source. You're gonna you're gonna copy that URL right there. Now, the normal dimensions of something, a new web browser when you open it are 800 by 600. I changed mine to 500 to give it a little more of a chat-like aesthetic feel of being more vertical than wider. Um, that's a personal preference thing. You can change a lot of that here if you, if you really want to. Um, but then you can see here, it's connected and there's some options here. So my chat uh, is ready to go. It's already connected, it's running. And so anything coming from Kick or Twitch would come over there. Now, there are a handful of settings to customize this within Restream itself, right? So um, for instance, I chose comic, which gives it like a comic book kind of bubble and a, a kind of a cool, neat font. It's very neat, but it's got its own little flair to it, right? But you could choose a Fortnite style um, with with it and it'll change it. Uh, you could do 8-bit uh, where it's supposed to look like, uh, you know, old school typing, which that's super cool. Um, there's a variety of different over game, uh, sorry, ga video games that you could use like Overwatch. Um, so you can really customize quite a bit it's, it's for free. This is this is really good. And then um, you can change whether the chat comes in at the top and comes in pushing down with each new comment or if it starts at the bottom like Twitch chat and pushes each comment up. I put mine at the bottom. If you only have a couple people come through, it could look a little silly at first, but usually after a few people come in and start chatting, it fills all the way up and then, you know, it just looks like a normal chat. That goes great. Um, for my message background, I have 60% opacity so that you can still kind of see the background behind it, but it still is thick enough that you can easily, at least in my opinion, still easily read the chat. Now, I have my chat background opacity turned to zero, but you can add, pardon me, an opacity to the whole box. I want that off, so I just have the little, the little um, chat blurps. 
and then scale a hundred percent was too small for my chat so i've got mine uh at one actually 160 is what i had it at but i i adjusted trying to shoot this video once and uh, scrapped it and i'm shooting it again so um but yeah, it's it's really easy. You 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 make yourself a restream account, connect the accounts that you want to stream to the platforms, and then you just copy and paste this into a web browser into your broadcasting software, and then the messages show up um, right there for you to see, so that you can actually read everybody's chat. I don't have to have this separate kick window anymore. I don't have to have the separate chat window. I can literally read chat from here. I'm leaving these extra ones just so I can read in case I miss something. Sometimes things get pushed up fast. But um, yeah, that's that's it. I hope this helped. I love you guys. Happy streaming out there. And uh, good luck on all the platforms. Grow your content. Catch y'all later.